Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial to show you how to make this shabby mini tag book. This is from a printable kit in my Etsy shop, and um, it's kind of a just cute, fun little book. And it's um, got this accordion style fold for the pages, and then it has these little envelopes with little mini tags inside of them. So um, it's just a really fun, cute little project, and I wanted to kind of show you really quickly how to put this together because um, it's not too hard, but it can be a little confusing if you've never done it before. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing, um, this kit comes with the folder and the pages and the little tags and everything you need to make the book. Um, and I've cut all those pieces out already, and I did ink the edges of this a little bit, but I haven't done much inking with the rest of it because mostly this is just a tutorial, so um, I'm not bothering with the ink at this point. But um, you could certainly ink your edges if you want to for this project. So um, to start with, we're going to, um, you need to print everything two-sided before you um, cut it all out. And so um, the kit also comes with printable papers that you can use to print on the back of everything. And that's just so there's no white showing. Um, again, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I like it so that there's no white showing when I create my booklet. So everything's been printed two-sided and cut out. And um, the first thing I wanna do is fold my cover um, to either side of the spine. So um, you go ahead and just match up your edges and fold that like this. And then same thing on this other side. And I don't have my folder, my bone folder here to crease my edges. So I'll just have to use my nails here <laughs> to make a crease. But um, so then that gives you your little booklet cover. And then the next thing we're going to do is fold pages A and B from the kit. These are kind of these kind of green sagey colored pages. And we're just going to fold these in half. And again, they've been printed two sided. And if you wanted to, you could use the other side if you think that is more your style and you could fold them, you know, the other way and have this, you know, kind of be the outside and this be the side that everyone sees. It's really just up to you. But I'm gonna go ahead and just do it the way that it's designed. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is fold the um, folding pages, and these fold kind of like an accordion. So you fold them in half um, on the center mark here. And then you fold um, this page back and then this page back to make your kind of fan style fold or accordion fold like this. And we'll do that with the other one as well. And again, if you like the other side better than the designed pages, then go ahead and use that as your page. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the designed part as the front of it, of our pages here. So again, we just line that up, fold it on the center, and then kind of peel this one back to make our accord accordion fold. And do that on the other side too. There we go. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is to glue our um, sage colored pages, pages A and B together. Um, oh, that's my cuckoo clock. Can you hear it? <laughs> Must be two o'clock. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just glue these together. And you might wanna use regular glue for this. I'm just using glue stick because this is just a tutorial to show you how to do this. But if I was wanting to make this, um, you know, not a quick thing, if I, if I had time for glue to dry, I would probably use regular glue because it just, it tends to stick longer. I noticed that the glue stick sometimes will dry and crack apart. So, but I'm using it for this tutorial. All right, so now we've got kind of our pages A and B glued together here. And the next thing we're going to do is open one of these up and glue a set of our accordion pages, our folding pages inside. And what we're gonna do is glue uh, the first page to this half and the last page to this half 
and that's going to create our accordion fold. So I'm only putting glue on this first folded page. And then you want to line it up with the edge of page A here, like that. And then that leaves this part free to fold. And then the same thing, I'm going to glue this page to the edge on this side. Hopefully this makes some sort of sense to you, or it will when it's complete, I think. It's hard sometimes to give directions for something that you already know how to do and that someone else doesn't know how to do. <laughs> All right, and so I'm going to fold that, and that creates kind of our um, accordion-style folding page. And then we're going to repeat that for page B and our other folding pages. I'm gonna line it up here. Leaving this part free and unglued. And then we're gonna glue the last page. And that will leave these two middle pages so that they fold. Just like that. And now we have our fold out pages. And now this whole thing is gonna get glued inside the cover. So we're going to glue this to the inside of the front cover. And um, there's going to be a little gap between the spine and the pages. I don't know if I can show that on here, the finished one. And that allows it to move freely. So um, we'll do that in a minute. So I'm going to just apply glue and just kind of stay away from the spine just a little bit, like, you know, a quarter of an inch or something. And then I'm going to line this up with that front cover as best I can here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this back page and glue it into the back cover and leave just a little bit of glue away from the spine and then bring it to the edges over here. And then this is a tricky part. You need to line it up. It'll want to move on you, but try to get it aligned there. And there we go. So it's coming together and we've got that gap you can see over here. I'm going to curve my spine out just a little bit away from the pages and that's how it opens. All right, and so now it's basically just um, adding the envelopes and tags and the little envelopes, I printed these two-sided as well and again if you like one side better than another you can use it but I'm going to go ahead and just fold the sides. And you can ink the edges of these as well. I'm not going to do that on all of them, but I went ahead and did it on one so you can just kind of see it looks kind of nice with the edges all inked up and then the little tag will go inside. So I fold the side flaps first and then the bottom flap and you can fold the top flap if you want, but the tags are kind of tall, so they're meant to kind of poke out, so I don't bother folding the top flap. Um, but you could if you wanted to. And then you can also glue the flaps together if you want. I think I like this one on top better. But I'm going to leave mine open so that envelope can actually be opened up. 
if I want to. And then what you do is just glue each envelope to each page. So there'll be one envelope per page. So there I've glued my envelope in and then um, the next thing I'm going to do is punch a hole in my little tag and I've got a kind of, I think it's a 1 16th inch punch. It's, I call it my micro punch and it punches little tiny holes instead of big ones. Tiny little hole. And um, regular string might actually be too large to fit through that tiny hole. So um, what I like to do is take a piece of string and unravel the threads that make up the string. And that'll usually give me one that's small enough to fit through the hole. And this can be really tricky, especially if you have any like arthritis or anything in your hands. So um, if you do have trouble with small things, you may have to change up this method a little bit. But poke my little string through here. Come on trying to unravel on me. There we go. And then it's a little bit long. And then I also have some thin twine that works as well. So you can buy some thinner twine to use if you want to as well. And then your tag will go inside your envelope just like that. And it's that easy and you repeat for all the pages and when you're finished you'll have something kind of like this and I didn't I didn't do all the tags for this one but you can kind of get the idea of how it how it'll look when you're done easy peasy all right and then when you're all finished you can use a piece of um, string or twine if you want to bind the book together since it's kind of a, an accordion book it wants to pop apart but find that a piece of string works nicely to hold it together. And there you go. Easy peasy. Thanks for crafting with me, guys.